finally we are going to put some work into this uh, trailer again and we're indoors now so hopefully we will get the progress going a little bit faster because i can't have this in the workshop forever so and yeah, this project uh, should have been done uh, last september october but yeah you make a plan and it fails uh, however here we are uh, we're going to start tacking up uh, the pieces i I pretty much have all the pieces roughed in, did that outside with the angle grinder too. So this one's going to be... Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the one. This one is going here. And there's another one for the other side, obviously. We have one in the middle. And here we have a mock-up of the, the uh, ramp. Um, all the pieces for this is, is, uh, is cut. It's just grinding and welding uh, for both sides. Here's more material for that. We have that one and those angle bars. So, so it's time to start.
another evening in the workshop working on this trailer. And uh, tonight I'm going to try to weld the reinforcement here in the front. Uh, the bed was originally only wood and I, I'm going to replace the wood with at least four C-channel beams. And we're going to reinforce the front here with a short H-beam. It's going to be it's going to be welded here, welded alongside this plate and this this beam will be mounted here, so this will attach to that and those two additional beams and these will will strengthen the, the drawbar significantly and hopefully that will do. Maybe we will have some kind of reinforcement like this, like that. I'm not sure. It depends.
I'm going to put the, a couple of hours into this project. Uh, it, it seems to be a never ending project from Every time I plan to do some work on this, something else pops up that's more important. So, uh, yesterday I, I was planning on putting a whole day into this project and pretty much finish all the welding. But then I came down in my basement and I found my water heater had turned into a waterfall. So, uh, yeah. I needed to fix that and tonight uh, I was just going to take out the lawnmower and yeah I needed to change the belt on that one but now I'm here so um, I got some hours in yesterday but it wasn't the whole day so the second and third beam are fully welded now and the fourth beam has some welding left and then i'm going to go over to the, the ramps and once they're welded up uh, yeah then then it's pretty much done i think no sorry i'm going to do some more work here in the front end i'm going to tie these beams into the uh, into this and maybe also triangulate some beams in the middle to to get it really stiff uh, but let's get started with the last beam see where we end up tonight <laughs> Now the last beam is welded and you can take a look at that. I've welded all the beams to this middle beam and these two, this one and this one are welded to the beams that were already there and I think this will create a very strong reinforcement here in the middle uh, this beam is connected to the front and I also put in that now we're going to focus on the on the rear end so the next thing on the list is to finish up the welding on on these brackets 
I just tacked them in place outside with the with the stick welder uh, and I'm going to finish finish this with the MIG welder uh, and when, once that that's done I'm going to start with the ramps this old steel or maybe the old paint the old coating is uh, it's not funny to weld in but this weld yeah this is the second try and I actually think if you look at the video now it, it, I know it's a, it's a time-lapse section but but I actually think I had the, uh, the exhaust fan too close because when you get a draft you can end up sucking the, the shield gas away uh, so I'm going to try to grind this away and re-weld it again and then having this uh, further away so let's see if that that works better Yeah, so not the most beautiful weld, but obviously without the fan, this worked much better. Yeah, I'm going to do some grinding here to take off the, the sharp edges. I don't like when, when we have these kind of edges where you can cut yourself when you're pretty much just doing, yeah. Where you can cut yourself. I don't like those. So I'm going to do some boring grinding and I'm not going to film that and the next step will be to build the ramps. So these are 120, about 47 inches. And if I done my math correctly, this angle bar is going here and going to have like that, six pieces. And then we're going to have about 15 centimeters or about six inches spacing. So that's the layout. Let's make this into a ramp and then do another.
this is the first one so yeah I had some issues with some welds on the inside but I don't think that matters that much I have welded these enough these are 50 millimeter C channel and I don't know where it's from it's some scrap I bought from a friend and it has a slight bend already like this so that's why I turn these long pieces this way so it's it's really already pre-bent and I added this I think that would be good I hope that will be good uh, so now it's just a matter of doing one more and then uh, attaching them to the to the trailer or, or actually mount these
I of course calculate this wrong so I won't get the side shift I was thinking I don't know what I was thinking I've been hopping in and out of this project so many times so I can't remember really if I but this is good enough I will weld this like this and yeah, that will have to do. are finished almost sorry they're not 
finished. Uh, I'm going to do like this kind of a stand so that when the ramp is down, it will touch the ground. Uh, but but I'm not going to do that until I have everything else in place and we can take it out and put it behind the tractor and see what kind of height we get here. So I'm just going to leave these like this for now and pretty much the next step is to finish up the welding reinforcement of the draw, bo draw bar and when that's done I'm going to go over this, uh, these beams at least the inside of the beams where the wood is going to be placed with the wire brush and then I'm going to paint that uh, so that I can mount the, the wood. I'm not I'm going to paint where the wood is going to lie. Uh, I think that's a pretty good idea because this corrosion, the, the rust is, is kind of, it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a sponge to water so, so the water won't get out of the, the area. I've also been thinking about cutting a dovetail on this end, but I kind of need to finish this. I should have been finished with this project a really a long time ago, so uh, I'm way behind schedule for my for my projects. But I looked at this, thinking maybe a slight. Dove, dovetail here at the end, but then I kind of know that that's version two or three. Uh, let's test this out. See if 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 these ramps are are too steep. Yeah, I think that looks looks good. It's not that steep and. Uh, but maybe, maybe we need that dovetail after all, but I, I want to try this first. So let's see what, what angle we got here. This is not the perfect tool for that, but it might give us an, an idea. One sixty one sixty three quite good. Now that end will dig down a bit when 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 lose the soil. All in all, I'm happy with this. Time to do something about the drawbar reinforcement and I'm standing here thinking about these beams. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on top or on the side here, going like that, this. And I'm also thinking that these stake holders, stick stakeholder, I, I think maybe I will Cut that away and move it up. Another idea is to put the diagonal bar here. It's going to be shorter, but I think it's not that bad. Now, I need to figure this out. I had some ideas that I would put in a, a plate. That I would put in a plate here. And so I get a kind of space to put, I don't know, fastening materials, straps and stuff like that, some tools, maybe even buy, make a lid. I really want to do it, but it's a, it's, a, it's a matter of time. I need to finish this now. I think I will start cutting these beams and see what, where I end up, kind of.
find the solution as I go. So this side is 49.6 degrees or yeah, 49.7. So, in this end, we want to have the opposite of the 90 degrees. That, deg that angle over there and this angle should form a 90 degree. So here we want to have 40. degrees so we want 40 this way seems about right that one's gonna move forward a bit more no, that doesn't seem right. We have to have that position. Yep. 49 point whatever it was. And go out to that corner. And that corner should be or from that that not that one so when we have made that cut here we just slide this and Just a matter of cutting then. Magic. That's how it's going to be. Mm. Now the pieces are cut to length and I cut away both of these steak pockets. I'm going to move them. I'm going to move them uh, up a story. And uh, I kind of grinded everything that needs to be grinded, I think. So now I'm just going to weld these together.
put in some plate here right now. I'm going to try to do everything I can to this because I know myself and I know myself and I will regret not doing this because it will never happen if I don't do it now. So I'm going to put in a plate at the bottom here, two tri triangles. this piece of a plate that I got from a friend he found it when he was redoing his his uh, lawn buried on the ground under on the, the grass so I wire brushed it and yeah I hope I got the measurements right because I'm hoping I can cut this diagonally so I get two pieces that fits here. say so that's pretty much in the middle so it's I think I think we need to check the other side as well so I'm just roughing it on this side to see if we're
I ran out of, out of battery in my camera, but uh, I added this bar here. So the idea is that you could have like an oil jug here and it won't fall off or throw some chains or whatever here. Uh, and also this will stiffen everything up really good. Uh, yeah, not this one, but the plates, of course. Everything is tacked up now, so I'm going to weld. Uh, and I think I'm not filming that. I think this will do. Putting them on the outside. Maybe I should bolt. So I've been uh, doing some fabrication. Uh, I didn't film that. These are these are going to be welded like this. So you drop a chain in between. The chain will be here, so the ramps cannot go anywhere. Uh, and these are going to be mounted like that. And then I'm going to put a lamp here and this ended up being overworked but at first I thought I needed to get the the cable through the plate uh, but then I realized I had another option so I I milled these holes down so the the screws from the lamp reaches through yeah, but now they're overworked, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so this one is this side and it's going to be welded like that and the lamp will be here. This won't go anywhere, it's a 10 millimeter plate. So now I'm going to weld this and weld those and weld the D-rings on each side here. And I also need to do something about this. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do an end cap or a, well done, a, 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 a thicker washer on the other side there. Uh, and then I'm just going to drill a hole and put a, a, a stop pin here. Uh, a good friend of mine said that 
it's a good idea to put the washer on that side because that means this won't travel out towards traffic if the stop bolt ever leaves it, its place so I agree so we're going to weld that on the other side I had some ideas to split this in two but for now it, it uh, can be one part uh, yeah so let's get welding It ain't going nowhere.
Okay, so it's a little damaged. Let's see if we can. Hope that works. I think I'm happy there. Got two bars. Um, I don't know what year these tires are from, but they're not new. Um, it's quite amazing that they actually work at all. I think this will sort the leakage for now. These tire tires were the the tire on the other side was pumped when I bought this from my friend and I haven't put any air into that side since it's about a year ago. So amazing.